China Art Museum not only presents the unique charm of Shanghai's culture, but also showcases pieces of cultures from all around the world for every patron to enjoy. Entering the museum, you will see a 3D animated painting titled Along the River During the Qingming Festival, which is located right behind me and is considered one of the greatest treasures of the China Art Museum. There's a small admission price of 20 RMB, equivalent to $3.80 in U.S. dollars, but it is well worth it. This artwork is considered a masterpiece among ancient Chinese paintings, updated with the use of modern digital technology to animate each figure within the painting. With the use of this technology, it is as if a dialogue has opened up between ancient and modern times. Along the river during the Xingming Festival is a panoramic portrayal of everyday life in the city of Bianjing, today known as Kaifeng, as well as the capital of China during the Song Dynasty. This scroll showcases the architecture and scenery of the period, as well as clothing and activities of both the rich and poor at that time, easily earning consideration as an encyclopedia of what China was like during the Northern Song Dynasty. This is one item in the museum you do not want to miss. It is a multimedia version of one of China's ancient and most famous scroll paintings. Standing at 6.5 meters high and 128 meters long, this installation is 30 times larger than the original work and is outfitted with lighting, sound effects, and stretched gauze, making it seem unbelievable that there isn't real water running along the floor. After leaving the exhibition hall for Along the River during the Xingming Festival, visitors arrive at the education corridor of the museum. This corridor varies in altitude from 49 to 41 meters, and a huge variety of artwork is placed on both sides of the corridor, allowing visitors to enjoy the aesthetic beauty in this world of art. The public education area spans nearly 20,000 square meters and includes an activity area for parents and children alike to experience the artistic atmosphere. In addition, the China Art Palace is equipped with a 3,000 square meter area for visitors to enjoy a variety of services. Shadow play, also known as shadow puppetry, is a comprehensive art form combining dance, painting, sculpture, music, and performance. A talented puppeteer can make the figures appear to walk, dance, fight, nod, and even laugh. Shadow play dates all the way back to ancient times and features exquisite craftsmanship as it reveals humankind's talent for artistic creation. Shadow play has also made a significant impact both at home and abroad, spreading to Egypt, Turkey, France, Germany, and Southern Asia countries.
Another exhibit includes sculptures, which is considered a representative of 3D art. Each stunning sculpture on display at the museum has a story to tell about China and its history, playing a vital role in the knowledge of future generations. The May 4th movement has long been regarded as a significant event in modern Chinese history, as this large relief sculpture crafted by the Chinese artist Hua Tianyu showcases. It is a classic style of modern Chinese sculptures, and visitors can easily see the speaker surrounded by people from all walks of life, giving it the powerful and impressive air it is known for. Shanghai has participated in the development of international friendship cities, which brings international perspectives to Shanghai and brings Chinese perspective to international cities in turn, which has led to what Shanghai is today as an international metropolis widely recognized around the world. Within this city, the China Art Museum is a central meeting place where people can carry out research on both modern and contemporary Chinese art and promote international exchanges among international friendship cities. Altogether, this leads to a mutual understanding and appreciation of both Chinese and Western art. One such example is the showcase of Marcus Lupert's artwork as a renowned German artist. His works include paintings and sculptures which have been displayed in the Freezing the Time exhibit, and visitors can learn from his artwork how German culture perceives the world around them. The China Art Museum gladly provides its patrons with detailed insight on the origin and development of modern Chinese art, as well as a variety of artistic and historical treasures. A visit here during your trip to Shanghai is a must, and we welcome visitors from all walks of life.